10 Best Classic American Cars of All Time. Ford Model T, 1908. The most influential car of the 20th century? Easily a contender. Henry Ford's Model T not only revolutionized mass production, in factories famously inspired by Ford's visit to a Chicago slaughterhouse of all things, but democratized car ownership in the U.S. too. Prices started at $300, with a wide variety of bodies available. Owners could even order spare parts from home shopping catalogs. A staggering 15 million were sold by the time production ended in 1927. Famously available in any color, so long as it was black. Jeep, 1941. President Eisenhower, no less, hailed the Jeep as one of the most significant pieces of American World War II equipment. Commissioned by the U.S. military as a four-wheel drive go-anywhere vehicle that could carry three soldiers, the original Jeep's silhouette is still recognizable in its successors on sale today. Front screen folded down, and original Jeeps had shovels and pickaxes lashed to the sides. Ultimate Utility Cadillac Eldorado, 1953. The Eldorado was designed to be luxury expressed in sheet metal, aimed at the privileged few who could afford its asking price. Styling was that of the jet age, featuring refined versions of the fins that came to dominate American car design in the 1950s. Chrome was everywhere, most notably at the aggressive front end, featuring remarkable bumper, bullets, first seen on the celebrated Le Sabre Show car designed by parent company General Motors. Eldorado spoke of automotive excess and 1950s optimism. Elvis Presley loved them. Shelby AC Cobra, 1962. The Cobra is what happens when a low-key British sports car, the AC Ace, is modified by an ambitious car-mad Texan. Carol Shelby shoehorned a Ford V8 into special versions of the hand-built Ace that were shipped unfinished to the Shelby workshops in California. A legend was instantly born, demanding the full attention of its driver, with a then-staggering top speed of 165 miles per hour. Versions of the Cobra continue to be made, originals command high prices at auction. Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, 1963. Hugely innovative sports GT with head-turning aerodynamic styling. Radical looks with split rear screen were said to have been inspired by pre-war Bugatti Atlantic. The Stingray's forward-looking futurism was an instant hit in an America obsessed with the new, and it helped that the Corvette had the performance to match. Under the bonnet, behind headlights hidden in rotating housings, lurked a V8 producing 300 bhp and good for 130 miles per hour. Nothing less than a design legend. Ford Mustang, 1964. Is there an American classic more loved than the Mustang? Launched at the New York World's Fair in 1964, the Mustang instantly found its aspirational market, selling an extraordinary 500,000 in its first year alone. You could have yours as a sleek coupe or even sleeker drop-top, and in either guise the marketing promised the thrills of all vinyl interiors, and, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Immortality beckoned in 1968's, Bullet, as driven by Steve McQueen. Chevrolet Camaro, 1966. In August 1966, Chevrolet bosses introduced their new muscle car as a small, vicious animal that eats Mustangs. Buyers could choose from a straight six or Mustang baiting V8 engine, while the luxury of a two-speed automatic transmission attracted those less keen on the stick shift, four-speed manual. Signature sliding panels hid the headlights when not in use, giving the Camaro a still more menacing look. Eventually outsold the Mustang in 1971. Dodge Charger, 1968. We've gone for the second generation of Dodge's big coupe here, with long lean looks that starred in the Dukes of Hazard TV series and, memorably chased by Steve McQueen's Mustang, at the 1960s cinema in Bullet. This was a true muscle car, whose then fashionable Coke bottle looks were propelled, courtesy the obligatory burbling V8, to 60 miles per hour in a Ferrari rivaling 6.5 seconds. 
wind down the side windows for a pillarless look. Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, 1970. Designed to impress at first glance, Pontiac's second-generation Trans Am boasted an attention-grabbing snout, topped by the Firebird of this coupé's name. In-house stylist Bill Porter regarded it as the finest design of a stellar career, with a functional bonnet scoop expressing the Trans Am's more than ample power. An elegant machine dashboard faced the driver, who had a padded three-spoke steering wheel to hang on to as the Trans Am raced to 60 miles per hour in a frankly remarkable five seconds. Cadillac Elante, 1987. Our wild card in our list of American classic cars is this unlikely Cadillac, with refined design by Italy's Pininfarina, better known for its work with Ferrari. The Italian styling house also took care of manufacturing the bodies, which were then air freighted to Detroit for final manufacture, transported in customized Boeing 747s in an operation that Cadillac dubbed, the Elante Airbridge. Naturally this proved ruinously expensive, reflected in the asking price for these lavishly appointed 140 mph convertibles, which now have a devoted fanbase.